Hey y'all, welcome to my curls. I want you all to know me better. I mean, we talk, you all know a little bit about me and mainly you know about my gray hair, but there are so many things I wanna share with you. So I thought in this video, I would just quickly tell you all 25 random interesting facts about me. Here we go, 25 facts about me. I love to get up early. I have always been a morning person. I am not a night owl. So my favorite way to start the day is to get up before the sun comes up, get my favorite cup of coffee with honey and half and half cream in it, sit on the couch and to watch the sun come up. There is nothing better than just the anticipation of the day ahead, the quiet and the solitude and just kind of thinking about uh, my plans for the day. I love the morning. I bet most of you all don't actually know my name because the, the name of my YouTube channel is Welcome to My Curls, but my name is Renee and it's R-E-N-E-E -E -E with a little accent on the last E. I do not like to spend money. I am a saver. There's something that I want or something that I want to go do and it's really important to me. I will absolutely spend money on it. I'm not a gal who goes shopping all the time. I don't like to spend money. I like to save my money. I have adopted into my home and raised four dogs. Three of them were dogs that we rescued from shelters, and now we have Pollock. So he is our fourth shelter dog. You all are gonna get to see a lot more about Pollock in upcoming videos. We just adopted him at Christmas. He's new to our family. We're just getting all settled in, but Pollock is our fourth shelter dog. Randy and I have been married for 18 years crazy and the fun fact is we don't fight now that's not to say he doesn't do something to tick me off every now and then but i just get over it it's not worth arguing over it, it really isn't like silly stuff let it go but true like i'm mad we're gonna fight about it the joke is we argue once a year and it's really not a joke it's true we might get into a little spat once a year. It has actually been a couple years since we got into an argument where I was actually mad at him and I can tell you exactly what it was over. Stupid story, but here it is. Randy was in the shower and I was going in and out of the bathroom, in and out of the bathroom, trying to get ready for work. And he likes to take a shower with the bathroom door closed because he likes it all steamy in there. Well, I was trying to get ready for work and to do my hair. And when I was going in and out, I was shutting the door behind me. Well, I guess on one of those in and out trips, I did not shut the door all the way and the door kind of like creeped open and he shouted at me, shut the damn door. And I didn't like his tone of voice. <laughs> and so I got mad. And that is the last time that we have actually had an argument. And that was probably four years ago. I quit my corporate job that I had had for 23 years to open an ice cream shop. And it's called Craving the Curls Road Ice Cream. I love to cook. I have always loved to cook. I cook most nights of the week. Not every night. We do eat out. I make everything that I can homemade. Randy loves to grill, so you will always find us at home cooking dinner. Every day, the kids say, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Like our world revolve around what's for dinner because I am always cooking. Y'all, I drive a car that is eight years old and has 140,000 miles on it. And this kind of goes back to, I don't like to spend money. I am not gonna spend my money on a new car. I love my car, I have a Honda Pilot and I will drive it until it dies. I am super organized. I love a spreadsheet, I love numbers, I like to see everything in black and white, I like to make a plan. I love to be organized. Now I already told you I'm a morning person and once I hit about nine o'clock at night, if I sit on the couch, I'm done. My head is down and I am asleep. 
I can fall asleep in seconds. Pretty much every night, I get a nap on the couch before bedtime. It's, my mother-in-law does this, and her name is Judy. And a couple years ago, Judy fell asleep in church, and my sister-in-law took a picture of her sleeping in church and sent it to everybody in the family. And so now it's kind of like the family joke. If anybody takes a nap, you're it's called you're taking a Judy. So I take a Judy every single night on the couch before I go to bed. I recently got glasses. They're reading glasses. My optometrist, which I have gone to for years, has always said to me, Renee, your eyesight's going to catch up with you. I have had 20-20 vision my entire life. And about three years ago, I noticed that when I was reading or working on my laptop, things just weren't right. And so I ended up getting glasses, y'all. Aren't they super cute, too? If you follow me on Instagram, I posted um, a picture of me the day that I picked these up at the optometrist, and I love them. Aren't they cute? Little purple. I thought they looked good with my gray hair. One of my favorite things to do is to be out in the yard. Y'all, I love to be in the yard barefoot. I love it. I just, there's just something about being barefoot in the grass. I love to go outside. I have lots of flowers planted around our pool in the summertime. We have daylilies that grow. So if I have a free moment or if it's a beautiful day, you will always find me outside barefoot picking and talking to and loving all of my flowers. I absolutely love it. I make my bed every single morning. There is something about a messy bed. Like I, I can't think when my bed is not made, if my house is cluttered, I can't think. So I love to make my bed. You can see it behind me. I made it this morning. My bed is always made. I love to read, and my favorite book is The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. I'm not a movie person. I would always rather read the book. I am a busybody. I am never, ever bored, and I never stop moving. All day long, I'm on the go. I can always find something to do. I always have a to-do list. I basically don't sit down or stop moving until about eight o'clock at night. From the time I get up until eight o'clock, I am busy. It just makes me feel good to accomplish things and I am never bored. This is a fun one. Our ice cream shop is seasonal, meaning that we close it in January and February of every year. So I get a break. I don't have to go to work for eight to nine weeks every single winter. So what do I do with my time? What do I do all day? I'm gonna share that with you in another video. My favorite foods, raspberries, asparagus, roasted red peppers, and avocado. In the summertime, you will find me in our swimming pool. And we've had it about 11 years now, and we got it for the kids. Turns out, kids don't get in the pool. I get in the pool. But we have absolutely gotten our money's worth from the pool. It is one of my favorite things. This is totally random, but every year on Memorial Weekend, I have a huge yard sale. I, I cannot stand clutter, like I cannot take it. So all of the clothes that the girls would outgrow and just things like junk, I, don't, I just don't know where it comes from. We have a yard sale and I get rid of it. And at the end of the day, whatever's left goes to the Salvation Army. If it comes out of my house, it is not going back in my house. I have one and only one bad habit. It's not really a habit. It's sort of like an addiction, an issue. Maybe it's a habit. I am addicted to chapstick. I love sticky lip gloss or some kind of sticky chapstick. Must be on my lips at all times or like I freak out about it this aquaphor and I have it stashed everywhere. It's in my bathroom, it's in my kitchen, it's in my office, it's in my purse, it's in my car, and it's even at the ice cream shop. I have to have it everywhere. One bad, like that's not bad. One bad habit, right? And this doesn't hurt anybody. It's just, it's just my thing. Chapstick. If I'm at home, I'm in my pajama pants. The minute I walk in my door, two things happen. My bra comes off and my pajama pants come on. I actually am wearing them right now. 
It has been almost a year now since I decided to launch my own YouTube channel. I had no idea how to start a YouTube channel or to do any of this stuff. The learning curve has been gigantic. My favorite place in the world is, I'm going to keep that for myself. Randy and I take a vacation every single winter. This is our time to reconnect and regroup, and so we take a vacation together. And we used to go somewhere new every single year. We have discovered a place that we absolutely love, and we are headed there in a couple weeks. And I'm not gonna tell you where we're going. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I will share with you what is going on when we're on our vacation. And then when I get back, of course, you will see it on YouTube. I am not y'all editing videos and uploading videos when we are out of the country. You'll have to wait till I get back. But it is my absolute favorite place on earth. Well, I hope you all feel like you know me better and I would love to know you better. So comment below. Tell me one interesting fact about you because so many of you all comment regularly on my videos and so I would love to get to know you better. I would love for you all to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. So until next time guys, I'll see you later.